Hello everyone, in today's video, I will show you how to create this reel using CapCut for PC. All assets used in this video are available on my WhatsApp channel. The link is in the description below, so make sure to check them out. Let's get started. First, we will create the background. To do that, add a new text layer, delete the default text, and press the Windows key and the dot key together. This will open the emojis and symbol panel. From there, select a square symbol, increase its scale to cover the entire screen, and change its color to match the theme of your video. Once done, now let's add some text. Create two separate text layers, set their color to black and choose a stylish font. To animate them, go to Animation tab and under In Animations, select the Blur Out animation. Adjust the timings of both text layers so that they match the beat or sound of your video. Next, add another text layer and, and open the Emoji panel again to insert another scale. Resize it to make it larger and position it creatively on the screen. Then import an image of a cook and remove its background. To give it a grey look, go to Adjustment tab, select the HSL section. Use the color dropper to pick the main color, increase brightness and reduce saturation. Once done, right click on the both elements and turn them into a compound clip. Add the mask section, choose a film strip mask and scale it down. Add a transform keyframe, move a few frames forward and expand the mask so the full image becomes visible. Use preset curves to smoothen the animation. Increase some feather to make it look more cooler. Now select all clips except the background and group them into another compound clip. Now let's animate this group out, add a transform keyframe at the beginning, move a few frames forward and drag, and drag the clips off screen while also adding some rotation, apply the preset curves again to make it look more smoother. After that create a new text layer and type in your next message. Increase if it's an important word like time. Select the top two words and group them into a compound clip. Add a transform keyframe at the start. Move forward a bit and reduce the scale slightly to create a transition focus. Now group the other layers into a compound clip and cut where the animation ends. Now go to effects and apply a magnifying gloss effect to this layer. Adjust the size and, and add both vertical and horizontal keyframes.
move forward a few frames and reposition the effect to highlight the part you want to emphasize. Adjust the spacing between keyframes for a slower transition and use preset curves for smoothness. Once all that is done, create compound clips and cut them at the end of animation. Add transform and blur keyframes. Then move a few frames forward and drag the entire scene, scene downward while also reducing the opacity to zero. This will create a vanishing effect. Next, bring in your frying pan image and position it correctly. Add text and apply animation to it. Scroll down to find the curve option and bend the text to suit the scene. Apply the dark night effect and tweak the settings to enhance the overall look. Group the entire section into component clip and animate it to enter from the screen. Bring in another image of a pan with food cooked, remove the background and again apply the dark night effect. Also tweak its settings to enhance the overall look. And align it exactly where the previous pan was to maintain continuity. Cut the clip at the right moment and place both pans side by side. Use a mixed transition to shift between two seamlessly. Add text above, scale it to scale it up to emphasize and add uh, animation. For the final touch, apply VHS overlay and grid overlay. Change the VHS blend mode to multiply and grid to screen for a polished look. And your reel is ready. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram for more updates. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care and bye.